we got a question from Andrew. Andrew's 39 years old, 185 pounds, and has recently fallen in love with the Zercher Squad. Well, congratulations. As you know, I, I have uh, a ministry. Uh, I, have, I, I still have all the certificates, and I can marry you, Andrew, and the Zercher Squad. Uh, that was a, an attempt at humor. I have found a pretty good routine in doing the clean and press, Zercher Squat, and loaded carries three days a week. Uh, that's not bad. Clean and press and loaded carries by themselves is a pretty good workout. And the Zercher Squat, uh, oh, for those of you who don't know the Zercher Squat, it's when you hold the barbell in the, in the what is it, the bend in the elbow. You It slides down there. You pat it up. Um, Really, if you look at what the goblet squat does with the kettlebell, it is a kind of a barbell goblet squat. And I think that's why a lot of people naturally find them pretty good. There is a body type that really likes the Zercher squat. And then there's people like me that don't like their elbows to get raw with the barbell. Uh, I'm familiar with your standards regarding the press and loaded carries. But as I, I was wondering, what would you consider pretty good regarding the Zercher squat? Well... So if you like the Zercher squat, and, and there are people who swear by it, and their best friend who trains with them thinks it's the stupidest exercise ever. It is an interesting exercise. It's one of those U-shaped exercises. You love it. You hate it. Very few people in the middle who've tried it. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing you, you know, even getting, I mean, if you can do body weight for reps, I think that would be a very good uh, standard. And honestly, if you like it enough, you probably could go pretty darn heavy on them. Uh, I have friends. Uh, I got a buddy in Michigan who can do Zerchers well into the 400s. And uh, I mean, that's just a, a laudable. But of course, and, and he'd be the first to tell you that he's born to Zercher. <laughs> Bruce Springsteen's, baby, I was born to Zercher squat. Uh, that was the original uh, song, uh, and then they changed it later on. Um, so for me, and for those of you who don't want to do Zercher squats, pay attention here. I think the goblet squat is a, uh, it's for, it, the goblet squat and the Zercher squat really have the, kind of the same uh, values. Uh, for one thing, for a lot of people, both of them allow you to get into a much deeper position. It really makes your body have to become a weightlifting belt to hold on to things. Uh, the fact that the weight is in front makes you have to counter it. And even right there, you could, even right there, I could feel my ab wall tighten up in the example. So if whatever you want to call it this week, the core, the column, whatever, uh, this area of your body, it, it makes it tighten up light up and there's there's real value to that uh, downsides if you don't like it you don't like it but if you like it you love it so the um i don't know if i would ever force a, a client or an athlete to do zercher squats we might show them and if they if they say oh i like this then we run with it because it's it's a good exercise uh, i hope that's good uh, it's a little you know, it's always difficult. There's certain exercises that are diff difficult to, to 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 work with in the weight room because there's some issues. I love the overhead squat. I I know lots and lots of people who think it's it's an idiotic exercise because you're holding the load up there. So there's a lot of exercises that work well for you. They work well for me, but don't always translate to the general population. Uh, Exercises that I do think translate, uh, the goblet squat, the plank family, suitcase carries. Oh, there's a few others, I guess. Uh, almost, I mean, it, you know, I have that thing uh, called the perfect workout. The half million press, the uh, hang, the hip thrust, um, the suitcase carry. Those almost are universally good exercises, almost, you know. There's always, there's always... Uh, there's always issues. Not everyone can do everything. But uh, the Zercher would be on that other side of if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. That's a good question, Andrew. This, these are good questions this week. All right, let's.